Greetings and salutations. It's your boy the Boom, fellow E Ascension, aka the Astrology, aka LLE Tarot. We're back. Um New Weeks, new energies. Uh sorry about last week once again. Uh I was blowing under the weather this week. Um couldn't do anything at all the past, I would say seven two hours, so I'm a little behind. Especially in the life coaching division, I apologize to everybody that had life coaching with me that reached out and all that stuff. Like, couldn't even talk. My throat was all fucked up. But at any rate, um, back on business though. Just want to get all the messages, general messages out today. I will be doing karmic situations um, on Tuesday, and I will be doing extended breakdowns on Wednesday, so I can really at least get the messages out in a real steady way so you can really get the room for the energies because it's december and what i usually do in december is just really get in depth in every message that i have um le season three starts january 220 and uh like i said that's what i'm gonna bring back astrology bring back astrology full force uh for le season three on a consistent basis so it's gonna be a lot more content i guess that's i guess that's where i'm at now um, LLE Ascension segments will be back, and um, once again, um, as far as my tarot deck is concerned, my book is concerned. Like I said, I'm really putting it out so I get like 5k on YouTube. So, like I say, it's looking like it's gonna be a minute, so at least while we're waiting, like I said, for those who want to, you know, um, learn specifically my deck, how it works, terms, and terminologies, and stuff like that. It's all good for that. You know what I mean? You know how to get my time. Um, it's definitely going to be good and essential because I got a few avenues I'm going to be going in the future um, as far as the book and the tarot deck is concerned. And uh, we'll discuss that, you know, for those that's kind of interested in a few things. Just like I said, you got any inquiries, send me an email, drop me a message. I'm always here. That being said, let's get to the message. Overall energy, we have the fear card. First card in the reading, clarifying that is the two of wands. Knight of Swords, that's fear. That's making decisions without crossing your T's and dotting your I's. It's also a juvenile energy. It's also divine energy. Or super karmic energy for those, you know, karmics who think, you know, embody this energy right here. Like I said, it's all energy. In my personal opinion, each card is energy. Swords deal with the mental. The direction that you're going, decisions that you're making, things of that sort. So, since fear and making decisions without crossing your T's and dying your eyes is being clarified by this tool of wands here, I just take it in two ways. Since this of our energy go for both divine masculine and divine feminine. So, as far as divine masculine, this is more so on the line of his role. Because spoiling his reading, you come into the situation feminine, you have your divine masculine in full form. This is Neo right here. And I told you, when your divine masculine gets in full form, he has a tendency to burn you. We'll dive into that in a second. I know my speech sound a little slurry. Like I say, I had throat problems and shit. My problems, my whole grill is all. It's, it's straight now, but I was, like I say, I was all fucked up not too long ago. <laughs> any rate, the divine masculine, I told you, he's getting more in tune with his role and he's learning to identify with his role based off the shit you've been on. I told you. Three of Wands is your purpose, feminine, and it's also your role. The Wands are actions, you know. Uh, actions, be behavior, you know, movement, you know. Not direction as far as swords, but it's like it's like you walking south. You might be heading in the direction of south, but you're literally walking south. And a wand is literally walking. Not talking, not thinking, not feeling shit. It's doing shit. You're doing. Feminine. Based on what you've been doing. What you've been giving your mask throughout the years. I told you. For those who ain't in recognition, this don't apply to you. But even if you've been in recognition for more than two years, this does apply to you. Told you, take all the time, all the experiences, all the memories, 
everything that you're building, everything that you're sharing with your twin. Save these shits. Really have them as mental pictures. Have mental files of your twin flame demonstrations. So when you talk about it, it sounds more grand and divine as it should be. It's a beautiful thing. I told you, you gotta have more than sex in twin flame demo to validate any fucking thing. You gotta have more than time spent with your fucking twin to validate anything. It has to be experience. Experience is your learning. Experience is your twin learning. Triggers. But your master is definitely gonna trigger you. That's what this energy is. Trigger. Master gotta trigger you. You gotta trigger your mask. You gotta go do shit in this demo. It's like high school. Anybody can just fucking skate past high school. Then you got the people who drop out. It's basic. It's like a fucking job at McDonald's. Your first job. You can't handle your first job at McDonald's. You really need to, I don't know, evaluate life. Reread for show. You know what I mean? Two of Wands. That's simplicity. This is basic shit. Feminine. When it comes to you, you just out here basically scared. Make a decision without crossing your T's and dotting your eyes when it comes to how you to a one out here. To a one that's surviving. How you keep a roof over your head, how you keep food in your stomach, how you survive. This is your job. This is what the fuck you do to survive. And if you in fear in the line of whatever you're doing to survive, that means you ain't on your shit. I mean it's a natural energy to to vibrate on because the Knight of Swords ain't nothing but the step after the tennis sports. Tennis sports is a permanent ending or death. The death of a family member, end of a relationship, loss of a house, loss of a job, like loss of a career, something. It's lost. So of course you're discombobulated. But at the end of the day, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. This ain't your purpose you tweaking on or making decisions on. This is how you eat. This is how you survive. It's imperative feminine for you to really get your mind right. What the fuck you doing out here? It's like those are trying to stay above water. And it's like those who are above water who just speeding so fast on a boat because they don't know how to drive this motherfucker. It's equal dangers. Not having shit and having shit, but not having shit in order. You gotta have, you gotta prioritize. Whether you broke or rich, you gotta prioritize. It don't even matter what you have, you still have to prioritize. That's the overall energy. Masculine has to prioritize on his role based off. <laughs> Like I say, the reason why he's here, the reason in his attendance, I say this shit all the time. No master fuck up with you for a reason. It's your job to make sure he just ain't fucking with you because of sex. Because obviously it takes two to tangle, so obviously he's under somebody's impression. Thought he had it like that, or you must think it's like that because it's kind of formulated on how you got it. You're the leader here, feminine, and I told you, everything comes back on you. You're like the mother, this is the child, this is really. A mother, overall energy, mother child demo. Divine feminine, you better treat your divine feminine like a motherfucking child, not like a baby scolding this dude, a juvenile, or some shit like that. No, this is like a child that you love, saving memories. Like, the, my mom got like a uh, grandma, mom, my grandma, she still got, <laughs> still got a plastic bag with my fucking ponytail. I used to have drapes, like, I used to have like braids and beads on it and shit. I had that good hair. Good hair. I still got that good hair, you know what I'm saying? But I had drapes. And, um, I had a rat tail, real long ass rat tail. My grandma made me cut that shit, but she also saved it. Cause she loved putting, you know, bees on the mold against it. And um, pictures, it's like an old photo album with all your pictures in it. You know, it's good to stop and smell the roses with your kids. Have pictures, not fucking Instagram pictures of showing people the shit you bought. Just let motherfuckers know you bought the shit. We ain't talking about that goofy ass shit. We're talking about like actual pictures to build fine ass memories. Because eventually your kid gonna grow up. And how you raise your kid depends on how the fuck. <laughs> how your kid turn out depends on how you raise the kid. So if you raise a kid that don't fuck with you, and curse you out, talk about your ass like Eminem, talk about his mom and shit, ain't got no type of respect for you. Obviously it's some shit you did. Just throwing that out there. And like I said, the same kid, thank God, it's your motherfucking masculine, but the shit still applies the same. Your motherfucking masculine's mentality on you is based off whatever the fuck you doing. Something you doing. Night of Swords, making decisions without crossing your teeth and stuff, and dot your eyes, you fucking up in some way. Me included, geeks. Feminine, you fucking up in some type of way. And it's fucking up the way you eat. It's fucking up the way you eat. It's fucking up the way you live. Your masculine sees this shit. 
Don't nobody see this shit but your mask. But like I said, your mask is the only person that's accountable to the bullshit you doing. Because you righteous, you divine. You kind of not better than everybody because ain't nobody better than nobody else. But it's that divine life, that Zion life, you know what I'm saying? But even in being divine, even being the person that you are, like I say, your twin can see straight through your ass. Your twin know you better than anybody on this motherfucking planet. That's why we got the bottom line here. This is rolling with the homie. Both of y'all, this is proving the same shit. Six of Swords, this is two people rolling in the same direction. Or, like, this is the direction you're going from past the point of no return, and your mask is on the same path going past the point of no return. Thus, y'all, Six of Swords, rolling with the homies, and my Brittany voice, Brittany Murphy voice, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is going with the flow, not going against the grain. Just throwing your paddles down because you can ride the fucking current to get to where you got to go. Obviously, you two going in the right direction. Y'all going in the same direction. Like, y'all going in the same direction. It's like the crush that you like in high school, school over with, y'all leave. You go to your little job at the skating rink and shit, and boom, you run into her ass to check her skates in. Or check her skates out. It's like, damn, you know, you, you roll right in my direction. Must be meant for you to be here. Type shit. And then clarifying that, we got the Four of Pentacles. It's very important. Four of Pentacles is holding on too tight to some shit. We're not wanting to let go of something. We all go through the Five of Pentacles. That's the next step after the Four of Pentacles. What's the Five of Pentacles? Dark Knight of the Soul. That's going without something. Without what? Whatever the fuck this is. Whether it's an idea or your child. I told you, you gotta treat your twin like your kids and shit. You gotta let your kids grow up. They gotta grow up to be men and women. Can't, can't hold them. Let them go out, go to out-of-state college and shit. The fuck away from you for a little bit so they can get some individual individualism about themselves. So they can identify, self-identify themselves in a way to where you're not influencing everything that they do. They're coming back home, four ones, home, Zion, heart. Um, come back home, just gotta let them go. It's one included. Y'all rolling together. Y'all on the same page. That's all you need to know. Hey, Y'all rolling in the same direction. Y'all going through the same little trials and tribulations and shit. Going through the same little energies. Y'all walking, talking marriage. Y'all reflecting each other and shit. Y'all learn to let go. When shit going good between you and your feminine. Feminines, don't cling. Six of swords. Go with the flow. Let that shit ride. You know what I mean? Just ride that, that wave. Surfboard. Ride that shit. Don't, don't, don't go overboard. Like I said, the masculine's really looking for direction. And how he's learning what where to go is from seeing where the hell you're going. Overall, about my energy. Feminine coming to the situation, you have your masculine. King of Wands, this is Neo. Usually when, like I said, you have your divine masculine like this. In divine form, he has the tendency to burn you. Think of this King of Wands as like uh, Johnny Blaze. Or the fire guy from fucking um, Fantastic Four and shit. So, like he's hot. And he's gonna burn you. He doesn't mean to burn you. This nigga is just a big flaming ball of energy. And y'all ro rolling together, right? Six of Swords. So of course you're gonna get burned. Okay, this is an analogy. This could be literally, figuratively speaking, Okay, let's put some more smoke on your divine masculine being all flamed out right quick. To the wands! Just putting a passionate end to something. They're both wands, so these are actions. So feminine, when it comes to your divine masculine, okay, you're putting a passionate end to something when it comes to your masculine. What's that? Two of Pentacles. That's once again, like I just said, in this bottom line energy, clean two of Pentacles. That's two people in the same space, two people coming together, or two people in close proximity. Ease up off that nigga Disney. You know what I'm saying? It's like the energy of your blind ass. Let me go on for a minute. Now you back. Okay. Take your time. All right. I'm easing to this shit. Same shit is gonna happen when my mask and pop back up. Nigga sent me a message for the first time in fucking, I don't know, since March. Just one word, one message, you know? Thanks. 
you know. It's better than nothing. You know what I mean? I ain't get no reply, no no nothing. Months. One word. One message. And I'm cool with that. I ain't finna cling on to that. Twist the nigga arm. Blow his phone up. Call him. I ain't called him. You know what I mean? I'm just glad to be getting a message back. We'll just, we'll just, that's the start. We're just gonna go from there. <laughs> it's where I'm at. My demo. We all got separate demos and shit. What I'm putting a passion into as far as my mask one is like I say, playing that nigga too close. My personal opinion, the nigga need to be the fuck away from me. I let the nigga be away from me. The nigga need his space. I let him have that. I ain't got nothing to say about space anymore. I ain't got nothing to say if the motherfucker don't want to fuck with me. Like, it is what it is. That's his choice. I got to respect the nigga wishes. Who am I to, I don't know, <coughs> not allow him to have what he want out the demo? As far as, like, what he prefers. That ain't what I want. It's petty, but whatever. You know, be respecting his wishes. It's for a reason. These are actions. And it happened for a reason. I mean, to me, it's a test. It looks like a test. Right back to just testing you, testing your actions. Even the whole thing of him not even hollering at me for seven to eight fucking months. Taking seven, literally seven months to get an actual reply. I mean, given the type of nigga that he is, he's a more, fuck it, let's make it, <laughs> let's make it to next year. You know what I mean? You waited this long, holler at me, let's see, you know what I mean, let's just let you wait a little bit longer, just test me and shit like that once again. I'm cool either way, it's overall energy, nigga gotta maintain, I gotta survive, I gotta do what I gotta do out here, with or without my mask on. I don't wanna be making decisions without crossing my T's and dying my eyes, not his swords, being on some juvenile energy, with some juvenile energy that's trying to make somebody like you, that's trying to make somebody fuck with you, that's trying to make somebody do some shit you don't want them to do. Yes, you're doing shit to conform to your masculine, but like I say, your mom, this is the kid. It's different. <laughs> masculine comes to the situation we got five of wands. This is outside conflict or life after union or life after reunion or life after recognition. Let's pick another card here. We got the Queen of Pentacles. Gotta pick another card. Queen of Pentacles. This could be a karmic feminine. Or this could be a bossy car. You know, you're riding mask and kind of bossing you around. And it looks like that. Nine of Cups. That's a dream come true. Which has been coming out a lot lately. In regards to the mask. But five of Wands. I think this is life after union. I told you. Once your divine mask is like. Once your divine mask is start talking back with you. Or seeing you again. Like I say, y'all hang a lot more. Y'all back knocking boots. Y'all back talk, conversating, whatever. That's attention. That's not an adoration, karmic way of attention. It's acknowledgement on another level. See, yo, divine master ain't fucking with you. God's fucking with somebody else. Not fucking, because it ain't all about sex. As far as who they give their time, energy, and resources to. You're not in their space for a reason. Even if it is, most cases, it is by their choice. It's for a reason. Nothing happens for a reason. I told you, feminine, in the same way the divine masculine burns you when he's in the divine energy, which comes from this type of energy right here, which is right under this. It's like a dream come true and life after union, but we got a bossy ass energy. Like I said, it's the energy of a guy that likes you, that bosses you around because. It's like he mad you dating some square ass motherfucker. Like, you know, y'all got history. Here it is. Y'all had history in junior high. Here it is, high school. She on some brand new shit. It's like the Wonder Years, one of my favorite TV shows of all time. It's like when, uh, <laughs> it's like when Winnie Cooper went to high school. I'm saying, when she was in junior high, she was kicking it with Kevin Arnold. I'm saying, Pfeiffer. <laughs> Just kicking with five dog, you know what I'm saying? Kevin's best friend and shit. It was like she was like a tomboy amongst dudes. As soon as you get to high school, she Gwendolyn now. She don't wear her glasses anymore. You know what I'm saying? Her ass is all stiddy and shit. And don't want to fuck with me and fight dog. You know what I'm saying? Fuck is her problem. You know what I mean? 
It's the first day of high school. Of course she's trying to reinvent herself. She don't want to be known as the motherfucking chick that's hanging with these low ass niggas. Told you, women develop more than men. I got a twin sister. I'm saying we same age, but her ass grew up before my eyes. Put the fuck. Bigger, bigger than me, developed in more ways than one. You know, it's different for women. That's why this boss energy is here. Most of these masculine men is deep as the motherfucking cells. You know what I'm saying? So this energy of life. Like I say, y'all was friends in junior high, first day of high school, and your friend, y'all kissed, yeah, it's like some Karen Arnold, Winnie Cooper shit, y'all got history, but it's like, you know, I come to high school looking for you, I know I'm shorter than you now, I know you got tits now, you didn't have that shit last year, but I liked you before you had, before you grew your titties, I liked you before you was popular, shorty, this is what the Ryan Feminine is saying, the Ryan Feminine is Kevin Arnold. My masculine is Winnie Cooper in this case. This is the energy of Winnie Cooper right here, what she was doing. So she get to high school shack like she don't know. Her own people. These the same motherfuckers that's gonna walk her home after school is over with. But in school, she whatever. Kevin's just sick. Hey, look at this bitch. Stunning on me and shit. Acting like she's better than me. She's not doing none of that. All she's doing is just establishing herself. Shit, my masculine does. All the time. Another reason why my mask, I'm gonna say this and move on. Another reason why my mask went, takes breaks for me, man. Like, the nigga reinvents himself. Told you, he's 30 years older than me. Like, he's always reinventing himself. A look, a field of work, a purpose, a job. You know what I mean? I reinvent myself a lot as far as my look or direction of my purpose. I'm pretty much I'm anchored. I'm a Leo, I'm a fixed sign, I'm anchored. Masculine Sagittarius, she's more beautiful and shit. But masculine's are always going down a new path that don't involve me. So if he's working with the church, you gotta stay the fuck away from me, because me and my ideologies ain't gonna twerk for him. And I smoke a lot of weed, and you know he drinks more than me. That nigga's more of a drinker, I'm more of a smoker. But it's like, I can say the nigga ain't a saint. You feel me? But the nigga got to chill for me. Because in his head, him hanging with me is making him turn up more. And he does, because like I say, nigga be trying to keep up and shit. Then you got cases for like relationships. You know? Just like the chicks I be fucking with, they kind of get worried out by him. Using me and my twins like this. It's like, what's up with you and hell? What's y'all? What the fuck is that? It's not your dad. Like, what the fuck is that? What is that? Like, you know what I mean? Women! Y'all, you know what I mean? As y'all should, y'all have every right to pry into a nigga situation with his with his homie and shit. Cause we do live in a different world. Shit's crazy out here. Niggas be out here punched down and shit like that. I mean, as a woman, you better be on that shit. But I mean, you know, as an open world, you should be open minded on different type of friendships to romances and shit like that. Like I say, nothing nothing crazy going on between me and my twin. It's just the bond that we got. It's a very strong bond. You know what I mean? Niggas definitely gonna be in my life forever, so whoever's in my life gonna understand why he's in my life, things of that sort. Like I say, National loves you, they just can't fuck with you now because you ain't cool. And they trying to reinvent themselves on some Winnie Cooper shit in the first day of high school. First day of high school could mean going into the new year. It could mean doing whatever they gotta do in this last little month of December to get whatever the hell they was trying to get done going into the future type shit. That energy. Going to the feminine energy, feminine, you got the two of swords. Mentally, you kind of teeter-totter, pussyfooting around, going back and forth, thinking you got options when you don't. This is really looking in the past. I'll take that more so as looking in the rear view mirror. Put more smoke on that. We got the king of swords. This is a guy smack. This is God. <laughs> A.K.A. your mom telling you to keep your motherfucking face forward. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I gotta pick another card, but this is Seven of Wands, Total Conflict. This is the energy of. <sighs> Sex scenes when I was a kid. Movies like Eyes Wide Shut. I was down there growing when that shit came out. I see that shit at the movie theaters. I snuck. I made sure I snuck in the dollar show to go see that bitch as a motherfucking shorty. That shit was 
Betty Pooper's boy. Boy? Any rate, this is like a sex scene that I'm watching a movie with my mom. My mom let us watch movies. But certain movies and certain scenes, she tell us to either face forward, don't look at it, or go to another room. Go to another room movie was like Sugar Hill, Wesley Snipes. Oh, uh, he played Romello, drug dealer and shit. Clarence Thomas III was his dad and a little heroin use. Anytime it's heroin use, motherfuckers injecting or sniffing. My mom always told me to go. <laughs> She'll be like, go to the other room. She'll never let me see that. Sex scenes, it was more so like, nigga, cover your eyes or look the other way. I still hear what's going on, you know. But it was that type of energy. It's that type of energy. It's like your ass want to see the sex scene. But you with your mom, and you know you ain't supposed to be watching this shit, and you know you're supposed to be looking away when you with your mom watching this shit. And she ain't really trying to condone this shit. But this is fucking HBO, where this shit just happens. <laughs> it's like one of them movies, and you're just internally conflicted about the situation. Because in my head, it's like, mom, I'm grown. Like, why can't you watch it? Like, you know, or why is she making me turn away? Or why do I always got to go to the other room every time? This scene comes on, like, you know what I mean? Even like we. My uncles and cousins that smoke weed. She kept me around. She kept me from weed a lot. Smell of it, being exposed to it. I smell a lot. I never knew what the fuck that smell was until I started smoking weed. And once I started smoking weed, I understood what that smell was. She was trying to keep you from this shit. So now I'm internally conflicted, like, damn, she was on one. I started smoking weed early, but I probably smoked earlier. If she would just let me be cool with the smoke and just let me be around bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, that type of situation here. When God tells you to face forward or your mom tells you to face forward or, you know what I mean? Cold cover your ears. You know what I'm saying? While she cusses somebody out, it's for her divinity. It's, that's how you get respect for your mom. Her not letting you see shit. You got the moms who... Put fucking clothes on when company come over, and then you got the mom who don't got no clothes on when company come over. We all know that one. <laughs> that one mom, she just walking around free. I catch them all the time. <laughs> I ain't doing this shit. It's that type of energy. You got respect to. You know what I mean? Old lady slip come up in church. You, you know. God. This is this this. It was put in me to look away. It's put in me to, you know what I mean? My my business or whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? That's like, holy shit, that was instilled in you through your mother or through God. Okay, and the way your mother instills that type of respect into you for other things, that's the same type of shit you instill in your twin. How do you do that? By doing. It's monkey see, monkey do. Actions. All about actions. That's she regards yourself. You know what I mean? Masculine in regards to you, he's in the world with you or on some worldly shit with you. Let's put some smoke on this. Eight of Cups. This is Pay the Bill card. This is also Enterprise. They ain't gotta pick another card. And it's a motherfucking red card. And it's the devil card. And this is a warning. So this 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 involves you. So once again, divine and feminine. <clears throat> the world card. This is the world. The matrix. The plantation. The crab bucket. A temporary space and time. It's where we live. It's where we dwell. It's where we lay our heads. It's where our, you know, children were created. It's where we go to school at. It's, it's where we dwell on a human, earthly level. Okay, which is cool beings. But you still got the four wands out here. What's that? Zion. That's the real world. You know what I mean? You got the world, and you got the real world. Those are just the matrix. It's a sugar coat. You know what I mean? We live in the world, but we gotta ascend up to the real world. Why? So we know who we really are. So we know what the world really is. I told you, the world is very fake and sugar-coated in so many ways. It's a lot of dark shit going on out here that people gotta be fucking aware of. From genocide to erasing people off the map to harvesting people. A lot of shit. Like, so I can go down a whole fucking list of the fucked up shit that's going on. Whether through food or through propaganda, media, whatever the fuck. That's the world. You really need to understand what the fuck the world is. Okay? One person who understands the world more than you, feminine, that's your motherfucking masculine. This is your masculine in regards to you, right? Alright. 
It's the energy of your masculine being able to bring a very worldly influence, a worldly view, or worldly perspectives to the divine shit you got going on. And he can enterprise off that. But we got the devil card here. This is that, uh, like I said, it's that bullshit. It's like your mind masculine basically tries to come at you with some type of, not scam, but it's like, it's like your mind master finally gets involved with what you're doing. So you got a YouTube channel or something. It's like, he want to bring you, you want to bring like him and his ex-girlfriend or his karmic to your show. Like in his head, he want to sit you down, her down, and really like compare y'all or really see what's the difference between you and her type shit or make it all about him. Whatever it is, it's some world, worldly devil shit. Devil shit is toxic energy. Devil shit is like somebody you chain to. You know, this is like you come into the realization that your divine masculine is basically trapped to another person. And it's like the only way he can free himself from this person is through some type of enterprise. Through some type of opportunity. It's just the energy of like you take off, your masculine take off, y'all have a successful business, and then your divine masculine's baby mother or ex wife or some shit feels entitled to y'all shit and wants to go the, the, the court route to do all kind of shit to get some type of piece of the pie that y'all baking. And it's like... It's almost like a cat, something that comes with the demonstration. It's like you get your masculine back, but you got to put up with... Well, shit, he got he, he to gotta put up with it. You know what I mean? It's like his problem becomes your problem. He's in debt, now y'all in debt. It's like... I'm not explaining it. It's a devil energy, man. It's a worldly, devil, enterprising energy here. It's also the energy of like... It's hard to explain. Because it involves you. That's why it's so hard to explain. Like... It's a bad contract. Bad deal. Bad lawyer. Bad guest. On your show. Your master trying to get you to refer. It's a bad deal. It's like your master trying to get you involved in some shit you don't need to get involved with. It's like Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, investing in some particular thing. So if your master trying to get you invested in something right now that's totally outside of what the fuck you got going on, I'm going to downplay that shit. If ain't for the kingdom, fuck it. It's some worldly shit. It's like your master's trying to enterprise with some worldly shit. It's like selling drugs. This is like scaring people. This is like taking advantage of a situation, faking like you sick, claiming babies that ain't yours on your taxes, shit like that. Master's trying to get you to do something you don't need to do. And so it seems like the only reason why he's doing this is because it's almost like he's seeing you do it. It's like monkey see monkey do. It's like master's trying to hold you. It's toxic behavior. Like he's trying to hold you accountable for shit you did. Now nah, he's doing it. Especially if he's a Gemini. That's all Geminis do. Niggas. Whatever you do, they do to show you what you're doing. And you can't say nothing. It's one of them things. Make sure you're on your best behavior. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is also, like I said, keeping your nose clean. Being on your best behavior. It's all red. Being on fire, this is sinning right here, or this is doing some, some kind of fucked up shit. It's like whatever this is, your master trying to get you involved in. Once again, you don't need to be following the fuck your master need to be doing. Your master need to be following the fuck you need to be doing. You need to be leading this expedition here. If your master is leading you, then you got your priorities fucked up. Now let's just say he's awakening, he's more in his business than you are. Okay, that's cool, but this is when you gotta trust your intuition here. Speaking of fucking trust your intuition here, damn. You in regards to your masculine. We got the Queen of Cups here. It's the psychic card. 
What's the psychic? It's trusting your own intuition. This is your powers that you have. You have intuition. You can really read your masculine. You should have the intuition to know if this shit legit or not. Queen of Cups, Four of Cups, Eight of Cups, Devil Card. You should be able to read exactly what the fuck this is right here. Come in your masculine or masculines in your life. You really need to trust your intuition about them. Put more smoke on that. You got a king of pentacles. This is a karmic masculine. Masculine had the karmic feminine, queen of pentacles. You got the karmic masculine, king of pentacles from it. Once again, you need to know what a karmic is. You need to know what a divine person is, a soulmate. Or a person in your soul family is, or a catalyst. You're a fucking demon if you've seen one of them bitches. You know what I mean? Like, power. You got power for a reason. Other than karmic masculine, feminine, King of Pentacles is a master manifester, a magician, an alchemist, a person that can create whatever the fuck they want to create. This is the power. To do whatever you want to do, the power to manifest whatever it is you want to manifest out here, the power to do whatever it is you're trying to do. Something you're trying to do out here in regards to the masculine. What is that? King of Cups. Ah, uh, that's crazy. You all red. He all red. I told you your masculine is pissing you off. Basically trying to like include somebody you don't like in the mix. It's him trying to make it's him trying to make you cool with his baby mama or him trying to make you cool with his mom. It's like you he's trying to sit you with his mom down or sit you with his ex-wife down or you and his, you and his baby mama down to get y'all to be cool or wants him to just do this shit for me type situation. But what he don't understand is <laughs> how y'all don't fuck with each other, how this is a bad idea and this shit's gonna blow up in his face. So by you being a leader, you just like I say, you just be like, nah, I ain't gonna deal with her. I'm gonna just put my foot down on this one. It's like you agreeing to have a sit down with his mother, with this karmic ass energy over here. His moms can be karmic too. Girlfriends can be karmic. Baby mamas can be karmic. Kids can be karmic. And this motherfucker. And it's like, um, you had an intuition that you shouldn't even went down this road. You did have the King of Pentacles power to like. Do whatever you wanted to do and not this. King of Pentacles. You could have manned the fuck up in your own intuition. You know what I mean? And just show the spirit of discernment. I told you, King of Cups is the highest form of emotion you can have. It's the spirit of discernment. It's the spirit to say, fuck it. Well, fuck how you feel. I mean, fuck what you think about me. I mean, fuck what you say. I don't care. Like, it's <laughs> all red too. So this is like being hot. This is like you really don't give a fuck. You screaming, you don't give a fuck. So a person who wants you to give a fuck about whatever they want you to give a fuck about, you know what I mean? It's like you're not going. Feminine, you got some masculine energy. It's like this is the energy you need to be in. You just need to be in the energy of like. Well, no, nah, because it's all red. Me being this energy just dialed down a little bit. This is the energy of, like I said, putting your foot down on what you, on what direction you want to go on, who you want in your life, who you don't want in your life. That's that's your decision. I told you, you making the decisions out here. You the one that's you the explorer. You're the one that's tasting the food first. You're the one that's making that impression first. Like it's like you trying to formulate around your kids. Fuck no, your kids formulate around you. Even if they're older. And feel like, I don't know, feel it's how they feel, it ain't what it is. Feel like they're in a position, I don't know. Influence you to do something or make you do some shit. Nah, it's protocol. Masculine in regards to himself, he's got the nine of swords. This is stressed out. This is losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair the wrong way. Why? Ace of Swords, cause Ace of Swords plus Nine of Swords, that's Ten of Swords, that's a death or a permanent ending. Deep down, Ryan Masson knows something has to permanently end. 
Aside from that, why am I asking how to get the nuts to do it? I told you, nine of swords, that's like insecurity a little bit. Being mentally stagnant. Ace of Swords, aside from the right direction, there's only one way up. That's there's only one direction, that's up. There's only one right way, that's up. What's up? God's up. It's the direction where God's going is ascension. The right way is essentially ascension. It's going up. That's where your mass is finally going. And when you go up, Ace of Swords is like I said, it's Strength, power, authority, dominion, you know, valor, courage, whatever you need to succeed, to fight negative feelings, to fight depression, to fight anxiety, to fight adversity, to fight whatever. God gives you what you need to succeed, survive, and thrive in life all day. God is six inches down from your chin. You just got to tap into the God in you. It's a sword. So that's how you tap into the God in you. You basically just acknowledge, a for acknowledge that there's only one way in life, and that's up. What's up? God is up. You're going in the direction of God. Wherever the fuck God's at, it's good there. It's, it's, it's knowledge there. It's understanding there, wherever God is. It's love there, wherever God is. You know? That's the finally going in the right direction. Due to a lot of stress. Going to the future, feminine. You have the six of wands. This is wins, victories, and celebrations. From actions. Doing the right thing. Like Spike will be clarifying that. Got the nine of pentacles. This is being right where you need to be to bless somebody, or being right where you need to be to get a blessing yourself. Or this is you personally telling your harvest, four of pentacles, four of pentacles. That's the eight pentacles. The eight of pentacles is what it's a harvest. It's just you telling your harvest for your masculine. Getting ready for your masculine to basically fuse with you. When your masculine steps here, that'll be ten of pentacles. What's ten of pentacles? That's manifesting something. Or two people coming together like butt cheeks. It's like getting married, getting engaged. You know. Victories and celebrations. It's also uh, a A, Nine of Pentacles. That's 90%. That's an A. Say you need to help somebody or give somebody a pinnacle so they can basically pass. Somebody has a D. You have an A. They need a pinnacle from you. You know what I mean? You give them a pinnacle, they go from a D, which is a six of Pentacles, to a C, which is passing, seven of Pentacles. And you just drop from a nine of pentacles, which is an A, to a eight of pentacles, which is a B. You still pass it. And an A, but you still pass it. Ain't like, it ain't like you got a, a C. You just skating. You're still above average. And that's what it's about. You're in a position to help somebody. And still maintain your money. Still maintain your divinity. Still maintain time, energy, and resources. And that's a win. Madison goes to the future, he's wounded, he's hurt. Why? He's wounded, he's hurt. He can be she, she can be he, you know how we rocking. Because that ten of swords is happening. I told you, it was a permanent ending that was going to happen. You're masculine in regards to the damn self. They were stressed. Why? Because they knew they was going to get to the next step. Ten of swords. Nine of swords plus ace of swords. What's that? Ten of swords. They hurting because the time has come. This is that permanent ending. I told you, you got to end things to begin things. Cannot be with your karmic masculine trying to build with your feminine. Can't dance with the devil masculine while trying to two step with your twin. Something divine and something earthly can't coexist. Pigeons don't fly with fucking eagles. Feminine is on a higher echo line. This person that you're tender sporting, putting a permanent end to. Half of the award. Love is a motherfucking battleground, man. And there's casualties in war. I told you, when you be with your twin, there's people you're not gonna be with. Putting all your time, energy, and resources into your fucking other half, you're not gonna have time for these side pieces or these people who don't matter or these people who ain't part of the demo 
or these people who ain't part of the plan, or these people who ain't part of the kingdom. It's the reason you're your twin is here. It's the reason why you're leading. It's the reason why you're learning the shit you're learning from your twin. It's the reason why your twin is putting you through the shit that you're going through. It's the reason why you're putting your twin through the shit that he's going through. It's the reason why your twin feels naked, lost and confused out this bitch, acting like Wendy Cooper trying to switch it on you. Cause they, cause, cause she in high school now when it was just cool to go in junior high. You know what I mean? People go through different shit. Y'all two different people. Y'all gonna go through things different. Y'all the same but different. You're waving your right hand in the mirror. The left hand waving right back at your ass. Same but different. Notice those differences. It helps. What does the Ryan Master want to say in the fourth and fifth dimension? Seven of Cups. This is the Pimp Cup Chronicle. Um, something inside of the masculine that had to come out. It was imperative for the masculine to kind of ace of cups himself on a more daily basis. Ace of cups is taking care of yourself. Self-love, self-respect, self-admiration, self-care. Six of cups is also the sauce card. So this is the wine masculine taking care of the sauce. How does the wine masculine take care of the sauce? It's doing right by the sauce. Who do I facilitate the sauce with? The wine feminine. Put more smoke on that. We got the Nine of Cups. Cups, cups. All emotions. The wine master really had to pull something that was in him out. And by doing that, it kind of turned him into a whole Romeo. Like a whole different type of lover. He's starting to love you from a whole different perspective. He's starting to feel you from a whole different type of vibration now, feminine. What's the Nine of Cups? cups anyway. It's like I said, a divine territory of cups. The ten of cups is a uh, happiness or emotional fulfillment. This is a step after happiness or emotional fulfillment. And it came from the divine master and really pulling love out of himself and giving it to the world. I told you we all got something in human beings. That's the fifth cup of seven of cups. We all got something inside of us that we all gotta pull out and give to the world. Could be the gift of song, could be our testimony. I mean be your child who just happens to be the next I don't know president of the United States Tupac you know, Bill Gates whatever the fuck you know what I mean like something that's in you everybody has something in them you just gotta get it out and give it to the world the world needs it like I say the world needs your story you just made a million dollars and you was just a you was just homeless last year Okay, somebody needs that story. Somebody needs that shit you was going through, that testimony. Because maybe they've been in the same position as you. It's the people that buy your book. When you put a book out, you have something in you and you put it out. This book ain't nothing but just going to resonate with people who've been through the same experiences as you. You don't know what your story might do. You don't know what your life might be. You don't know who you might inspire. Not just you feminine in your mask and go for the same, the same way. Master is pulling something out of himself and by him doing that, he's going to find a new found respect for you. And that's what's happening. Feminine, what you got to say? Knight of Wands, you're saying move fast and fiercely in your divine direction. Just basically telling him to do the opposite of mustard, catch up. Do what I'm doing. The direction I'm going, head in that direction. The actions that I'm doing do what I do. Clarifying that is the seven of swords. We got a secret here. Or this is also keeping it 100. So I got to put more smoke on this. My feminine. Six of cups, false card. So my feminine. You basically telling the masculine. It's a job you need to be doing at the end of the day. But you can't do this job with me if you're hiding things or keeping things a secret or you're not keeping a 100 with me. It's a respect thing. Once again, it goes with the whole rant that I gave about your mom. It's like, you respect your mom if she gave you something to respect. Most men don't respect women, don't respect their mother. You know what I mean? She's a woman before she was your mom. You know what I mean? Um... Like I say, anybody ain't got no respect for their mom. Like I say, it, it's something the mother did. She showed some lack of respect, and the kids took it. As, it's like a mom that lets her son raise themselves. They think they're being cool. 
giving their kid free reins to raise himself, but deep inside their kid hate their mom for not raising them. Like you wasn't there, you just let, you know what I'm saying, me raise myself. She's like, well, I thought that's what you wanted. And, you're, and the kid is like, very smart, and like calling mom by her first name and shit. Just talking to mom any kind of way, because there ain't no respect there. You got to put the respect in there. And your kid going out here talking bad about their mom, that's making the mom look like crazy. You're a reflection of your mom. Feminine, your masculine is a reflection of you. So how your masculine act is how you treat them, or how you act in yourself. It's the shit you giving off. Monkey see, monkey do. You're just letting your master know I'm on my job. You need to get on yours. You got to keep it completely honest with me. Keep it 100 with me because I keep it 100 with you all the time. The reason why I keep it 100 with you are like cats out bags. So you can do the same. Then we got the six of cups. I'm saucy as shit, boy. This the sauce you got feminine or the sauce you possess feminine. Don't know regular ass feminine have that but you. This is one of a kind of sauce here. So it makes you you. It's the shit that makes your masculine fuck with you and only you have that. And repeat that. It's the shit that makes your masculine fuck with you, feminine, and you have that. Final word, final message here. Five pentacles, dark night of the soul. Go with that whole four pentacle shit I was saying in the bottom line. We're gonna go without something. It's natural to go without things. But it's temporary. It's a pinnacle. You're going to get another pinnacle back. We all get square six of pinnacles from this dark night of the soul. But I want to let things go. It's all about timing. Can't force shit. Shit got to click. Okay? You go in this direction. Life is forcing you to go in this direction. And then, of course, you go in this direction. Life got your mask going go in the other direction. You don't, you don't move directions. You stay on the right path. He's going to go on the same path you're going. Why? Because you're going down the right path. Stay on path. Stay on business. It's all about respect here. Okay? That's my message. Hope I can be a good use. It's your boy D-Boom. Please stay tuned. Deuces.